What's up friends? It's Devin and today I am doing the biggest haul I think I've ever done in my entire life even counting the times in which I purchase products and don't film them. Usually my hauls will be like five things and it's not notable so I don't really film it. However, there was a makeup show in Atlanta and let's just say spent some cash. This was the first time to my knowledge that there's ever been like a makeup trade show in Atlanta and it was the makeup show's pop-up shop so it was kind of like a smaller version of their normal show and it was also open to the public which is great because I'm not technically a professional and they had really awesome discounts. So anyway, I'm just gonna jump right into the haul because I didn't get like a ton of stuff, but I did get a pretty good amount, so let's do it. There's a makeup retailer called Ricky's NYC. They do sell just a ton of different brands. They had like BH Cosmetics, Violet Voss, NYX, Glam Glow. So I picked up a makeup eraser and it's currently in the washer right now because you're supposed to wash it before you use it. I got the light blue one because uh, I wanted to. I'd seen videos on these and I know that there's honestly probably way cheaper alternatives but everything was 25% off at their booth and I've always wanted one because that means I don't have to use like makeup remover because what it is is you wet it and you're able to remove your makeup without actually using a makeup remover which I think is really cool. So I picked one of those up and I did use it to remove swatches from my hand one time because I didn't want to use it on my face before I washed it and it did work so I mean that's pretty cool you know. I picked up two lip products. I picked up one of the LA Girl matte flat finish pigment glosses this is in the shade black current and it's just a super super deep purple plum and I did wear this it's really dry so if you are not into like liquid lipsticks or really dry finishes mm -mm, not for you but I don't mind it and the color is really pretty and these are super cheap I think they're only like six ish dollars i feel like they're around six dollars that was before the discount i don't have a receipt from a lot of places because they didn't really give you one so i can't tell you exact prices there you can see that's the swatch of black current i also picked up a nyx matte lipstick really nothing special they carry these at ulta they're like six bucks but it was on sale and i do love this formula a lot this is the color Euro Trash, and you know, gotta satiate my lipstick need. These are actually the only two lipsticks I bought, so pretty crazy. But yeah, that is Euro Trash right there. And then I just got two pairs of Red Cherry Lashes. These are the 415s, and these are the 217s, and they're similar. They're just wispy and long, and they were cheap. The last thing I got from that booth was Violet Voss Lashes. I feel like these are on par with brands like um, House of Lashes and Coco Lashes, and even like the Mink more expensive brands whereas like these are just like your basic super simple closer to more like Ardell lashes very natural um, and these are like super dense you know I've seen these on Instagram for a while so when I saw them in person I was like I'm definitely gonna pick up some of these because you know <laughs> I love my lashes so the first pair I got was one of their limited edition faux mink lashes and this is sexy and I know it next up from their normal line of lashes this is Vamtress and I did actually wear these yesterday they remind me a lot of Coco lashes and goddess or house of lashes and iconic but they are slightly different and they're really wispy and they look great with winged liner so I'm a fan then I got these really thick voluminous lashes these are I do and then even thicker than the last ones these are I D G A F don't exactly know what I'm gonna be able to pull these off with but we'll see that's everything I picked up from Ricky's. There was a booth that was selling Inglot. It wasn't Inglot themselves, but it was a company that distributed Inglot. So I don't remember the name of it, but I did pick up three of their gel liners. These were $11, which I think is a great price for any gel liner, you know? Even like the Maybelline or like the L'Oreal gel liners at the drugstore, are like I think around $10. So $1 more. And I've heard really great things about these so i definitely had to pick some up so 77 is just their matte black i have used this twice now i really love it it is so so pigmented and they're really creamy and i am a fan of that let me just show you how pigmented i'm gonna do swatches of these as well i just like barely touched it and yeah that's no joke no joke 74 is just a deep plum. Oh look, I haven't even unwrapped this one yet. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! This one is a tad bit sheerer, but it is still definitely buildable and it feels a tiny bit creamier than 77, but you can see that there. It's kind of similar to the black current lipstick I got. 
And then the last one I got was 92, and this is the one I was most excited about because it's silver and it's so pretty and also very pigmented. <laughs> it is so pigmented and really reflective. So I'm super excited to use this and I hope I can figure out a lot of different things to do with it other than just line my eye, you know? As you can tell, I have this really cool tote bag from Makeup Forever. I actually got two of these because I went there twice. I didn't get much though. I got the Step 1 Skin Equalizer. This is the hydrating version because I'm almost out of my NYX primer and I figured if I could get this at a discount, why not? I've heard good things about it, so I'm excited to use this. And then I picked up a backup of my foundation. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation in Y225 and I've been really loving it and I figured if I could get it at 40% off because Makeup Forever was 40% off, I should definitely pick it up because I paid like, I think I paid around $23 for this. So I picked up some good stuff from Crown Brushes. I got the C451 Round Buffer. The foundation brush that I use when I'm not using a beauty blender it looks like this. So you can see that this is kind of more wiggly and it's flat and um, I feel like this would do a better job of actually blending foundation in, which is kind of a problem I have with this brush, which is why I typically use a wet sponge anyway. I picked up two crease brushes. This is the C330 Pro Blending Crease. So you can see it's just a large fluffy brush. It's really soft. And then this one's a little bit stiffer. This is a SS012 Deluxe Crease. I'm gonna try to find the name of this brush online. I think it's called a round contour. It doesn't have anything printed on the handle, so I will try and find it and put it on the screen if I can. I've been using an angled blush brush mostly for my contour, but I kind of wanted to try something new. I do have a brush that's kind of similar to the NARS Eda brush. It's the e.l.f. contouring brush, but the contouring powder that I'm using right now is way too pigmented to use with that brush because it's so dense. So this is cool because it's fluffy and it's kind of tapered, so I feel like it's good to just kind of like lay right in that cheekbone area. Woo! I also bought a new lash curler because mine is, is seeing the last of its days. And this one's really cool. You just flip this down and you clamp. And then I got some disposables. So I got a bunch of plastic spatulas. This is good for like scooping out product and putting it onto a palette when you're working with clients. I do kind of want to get back into freelancing. So I did want to go ahead and pick up a few of these products. And then I did buy some disposable mascara spoolies. I did buy some lip wands as well. There was another makeup retailer similar to Ricky's NYC called Friends without the eye, Friends Beauty, and um, I picked up some good stuff from them. So I did get some more fake lashes. They were four for five dollars. However, since they didn't have the plastic case on the front, like it's just the lashes, there were two of them that were literally like stuck together, like so you couldn't tell. So I did accidentally get five and I kind of feel bad, but I didn't do it on purpose. But I got three of the style 43, which you can see is just long and wispy. It's similar to the lash I'm wearing right now, which I think is the Cream Shop Lashes. And I think it actually might be 43 as well. I think it might just be like a standard style number. And then I got two of the style 213s, which are just shorter and they kind of look a little bit more natural. So I figured these would also be great. I also picked up the RCMA No Color Powder. This is the thing that everyone on YouTube has been raving about the past few months. It is just a translucent powder that does not have a flashback and it also does not have a white cast. And it comes in this huge, huge container. And this was also $10. The last things I picked up from friends were some individual eyeshadows. This is from the brand, I think you pronounce it Stilazzi, Stilazzi. They were $2 a piece and they also did throw in these little metal metallic plates, which means I can stick them in an empty palette, which is really exciting for me. The first two, these are actually matte blushes, but they are the same size as the normal eyeshadows. So I actually kind of thought they were eyeshadows, which of course you can use them for whatever you want, but they are technically blushes. And then I don't know why these excited me so much, but I got two matte grays and I'm really, really excited to use these. You don't really see a lot of like matte slate gray shades. And also I feel like you just kind of have to get creative to use these. Next, I just got these two shades, which are just nice neutral basic colors. So this one is just a matte light tan. So I figured this would be really good for a transition shade or for a more natural look. This is a shimmery kind of off white color. So I figured, you know, just like your basic shimmery color. But the last three colors I got from Stilazzi are these nice, really bright pops of color. They're all super shimmery and the formula is really, really great, especially on the shimmer shadows. As you can see, they're all just really reflective and really pretty. And then the last place I went, which I also visited them twice, was NARS. They have these beautiful little bags. 
bags that have like those little like magnetic closure. So I want to do something with them, but like they're still paper bags, so I don't know what. So I have to be honest with you guys, I've never purchased anything from NARS before. The only NARS products I have are their two lip pencils that were a birthday gift last year at Sephora. Um, I've always wanted to, it's just they are a very expensive brand because they're kind of that bridge between like your typical high-end Urban Decay, Tarte, Too Faced, you know, all the stuff that's available at Sephora. And then kind of bridging into that more higher end territory, their prices are just high, you know? And I mean, there's no way to get around it, except if you go to a makeup trade show and everything's 30% off. So I did pick up two of their Radiant Creamy Concealers. The first one is Light 1, which is Chantilly, and then Light 2, which is Vanilla. And Vanilla matches my skin really, really well. And then I did get Chantilly to kind of brighten and use as a highlighting concealer. I picked up two of their single eyeshadows. They only had them in the refill version, but that is perfectly a-okay with me. Um, so this is Persia and this is Kamkacha. Kamkacha is how the internet said you would pronounce it. I looked it up. This is Persia swiped on my finger twice. I feel like these actually perform better with brushes than they do with finger swatches because I used both of the colors today. I used Persia in the crease lightly and then I also applied Kamchatka on the outer corner and um, they were super pigmented on my eyes but the swatches do look kind of lackluster. Like this looks just like pretty, you know? You're like, okay, that's fine but you can see kind of like the pigment fades but I feel like these do perform really well on the eyes and then Kamchatka is just a really cool deep periwinkle so it's kind of like a gray and a blue I really love these two colors I thought they were really cool and unique so that's why I picked them up and then one of the things that I'm most excited about as lame as it is is I got a NARS empty palette and this cost nine dollars can you believe that this cost $9. This was cheaper than like the small Z palette that only holds four eyeshadows. It was $11 there and this was nine. And plus it's so beautiful because it's this beautiful sleek packaging and it's really thin so it's great for travel. And I've never had an empty palette. I've never had anything like a Z palette because I just never really bought single eyeshadows. So with all the ones I picked up this weekend, thought it was necessary. And then the last thing I got, and of course the last thing from NARS, was the NARS Skin Multi-Action Hydrating Toner. This was from their skincare line, and I was kind of sold on this in the seminar that I went to. Um, the artist giving the seminar, she said that it was lightly exfoliating and that it was hydrating, so it was really, really great for dry skin, and it's really not abrasive, and it comes in this nice giant bottle with a beautiful, lovely pump. The packaging is nice and sleek, and I'm so excited. And it says it brightens and hydrates, and I definitely need both brightening and hydrating on my skin. <laughs> So I did want to show you guys what this palette looks like full. I did fill it up with all the new eyeshadows that I purchased this weekend. Doesn't she look great? So that is everything that I picked up at the makeup show Atlanta. If you want to see a tutorial with any of the eyeshadows or any of the products that I showed you, please, please, please let me know down below. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please let me know. You can stalk me on social media. All of those links are on the screen as well as down below in the description bar. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That's all I have to say. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.